I'm gonna show you how to look 10 years younger and like you've slept for 10 hours in just 10 minutes. Today I'm gonna to walk you through a detailed everyday makeup tutorial. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite current products and I'm gonna give you some techniques that you've probably never seen before that's really gonna help you achieve that flawless everyday makeup look really quickly and easily all by yourself from home. That's the best part, you can do it and it's fast. A very special thank you to City Beauty for sponsoring a part of today's video. Let's go. Okay, so the first step for any makeup application, especially very natural ones, is to start with a really hydrated and supple base. So you always, of course, wanna start by hydrating your skin with your moisturizer. The moisturizer that I used on her today is this one by City Beauty. You guys see me use this a lot in my videos. This is the multi-action sculpting cream. I really like using this on my more mature clients because it is really nice and rich, but it's not too sticky and it's not too wet. I love how this plumps up the skin and it really helps with fine lines and wrinkles creates that really supple hydrated base before we do anything with makeup, right? You want that base of your skin to look as good as it possibly can so that when you get to the actual makeup part, you can really scale it down. Now we can go in, isn't it nice? It and it's kind of tacky, which is really good. But not extra, not extra, extra tacky. Like, wow, that I absorbs know. nicely. I love this, these products are incredible. Like, I love them. Before we move on to the rest of the makeup, I just wanna let you know that City Beauty is actually doing a promotion right now. Yay! On February 25th and 26th, you guys love it when they do their promotions. They are offering 50% off the City Lash Growing Serum and the Beyond Mascara. So it's a promo on the lash products, which is so exciting because lashes are such a big concern for women as they age. My client, Carrie, who's the model for this video, she was actually talking about how her thin lashes makes her feel like super self-conscious when I was doing her makeup and this is very normal right as we get older our lashes get thinner so they don't look as full and long as they used to but I personally don't like to promote lash serums here on the channel and you guys have probably noticed that I never have I never have because they can be really harsh on the eyes and I'm just like not into promoting those really harsh chemical products to a group of people that trust me right but this one is really good because it's hydrating and conditioning so it supports the natural lashes it's a much more gentle approach to a growth serum and it works which is so good right so the cool thing about their mascara too you know that goes with it is that the mascara also has a lash nourishing serum in it so it treats your lashes well being a mascara i love city beauty i love their products they sponsor the videos and like i'm so thankful that they do because sharing them with you guys makes me really happy because i really just do love them let's move on to sunscreen for her sunscreen, I use the Super Goop Glow Screen. Now, this sunscreen is beautiful because it has like a luminescence to it. It's actually a really cool product. It's three things in one. So it's a skincare product, it's a makeup primer, and obviously the most important part of it is that it's a really good, effective sunscreen. There's a few different types that you can buy from them. You can get the Unseen, you can get the Sheer. My favorite one is the Glow Screen because I'm all about that unworldly glow, right? I'm all about glowy, healthy, natural skin. But if you don't like that type of glow, don't worry too much because you can still get super goop. You can still get that primer and skincare effect and sunscreen, but in a formula that isn't glowy. Armani Luminous Silk is a huge foundation that everyone loves and talks about. It's a glowy, very natural, lighter coverage foundation. It really is like the perfect everyday foundation, but I recently found a dupe for it that I like even more. I just made a video about this. I was testing dupes like crazy. And so I wanted to use this on Carrie. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is such a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It looks just like Armani Luminous Silk for a fraction of the price. And I really do actually like the coverage and finish and wear of it even more than the Armani one, if you can believe that. When I apply it on the skin, I like using a foundation brush and I like detailing. So around the brows, around the hairline, especially if you have gray hair, you don't want that foundation to stain the gray of the hair. So you can do a little bit of detailing with a smaller brush. This brush that I'm using is by my favorite brush line ever, BK Beauty. And this is from Angie, Angie the Creator Hot and Flashy. She collabed with BK Beauty and they did like a travel kit. When I am applying it, I like using a stippling motions to build up coverage in areas that I need it to build up in. So say you have a lot of discoloration in your cheeks or you have, you know, darkness under the eyes, you wanna stipple that product in those areas to build up the coverage. And so 
instead of giving you a sheer wash of the coverage. If you want a brush like this, but you don't want to buy the BK Beauty Hot and Flashy Angie's Kit, the travel kit, you can also get their foundation brush. It's number 101. That's their best selling brush. And it's a, also a phenomenal foundation brush. You definitely need a foundation brush, even if you're just doing very light everyday applications. It makes the world of a difference in how your makeup looks. All right, now we can move on to concealer. So for concealer, I use this concealer by e.l.f. It's the Hydrating Camel Concealer. And the first color that I used on her was the color peach. I'm gonna leave all of the colors in the description box for you guys in case you're curious. But I like applying that right on the inner part of the eye. That's where we tend to have quite a bit of depth. That's where we have like recession. That's where we have the blueness in the color. And I like applying it a bit here in the corners of the eye because we also tend to have a bit of discoloration on the corners here. And then again, using a concealer brush, I use stippling motions to build that up. And when you look at her here, you can see what a difference just that has made. We're gonna go in with a brightening concealer later, but we want to let that concealer kind of dry down, oxidize a little bit, you know, not be so wet and tacky before we do anything else under the eyes, okay? So color correct first, then step back and wait a little bit. Now, typically for the eyes, I would just use a concealer. I'd set it with a powder and then I'd go in with any type of shading product. We're not even using eyeshadow on this look today because we're just keeping it quick and natural. But for her eyes, I didn't go in with a concealer. And do you wanna know why I didn't? It's because she has deep set eyes or what people refer to as hooded eyes. Now, when we have hooded eyes, we can have a little bit of issues with the makeup creasing right? Because the fold is so strong. We can also have some issues with our eyes looking smaller or with things not showing up when we put them on. So I'm going to show you a few techniques for hooded eyes in this video that I think you're going to find very helpful. Now, the first trick for you, if you have hooded eyes is to go in with an eyelid primer. I'm not a huge advocate of eyelid primers. I'm not like diehard about them unless you really need them. Usually concealer and powder does just fine. But in this case, if we used a concealer, because it's so creamy and hydrating, that hooding would have started to make things crease. So in Carrie's case, I just went in with my eyelid primer by Sigma. I applied it from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone to color correct that and to make it look flawless and ready for other products. That is wild. Yeah. <laughs> I know, like suddenly, don't you feel tired here? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's like the easiest little thing that makes such a difference. Now we have to set this area with a powder so that things can go on top of it and blend really well. So for that, I just went in with my Chanel translucent powder and I dusted it over the area just to make that nice and transfer proof. All right, now you guys have to check out this product. This is the e.l.f putty bronzer. This is so good. This is just like the Chanel bronzer, the Chanel cream bronzer, but it's much less expensive and it comes in a smaller size and there's more color options, which is amazing. So this is going to be the product that we use for everything. It's our one and done product. So what I do is take a fluffy crease brush. I dip into it and I start to contour out the crease. That is our first step. We're creating a little bit of a separation from the lid to the brow bone by adding a bronzy shadow here in the crease. Then I take that exact same product and with a contouring brush, I go ahead and I add a little bit of bronziness to the top of the forehead and to the cheekbone area. And then I even go in with that, with the crease brush again. So the same brush I used on my eyelid, I go in and I carve out the nose to give her just a little bit more dimension in the face, more shading, that sun kissed glow, but it also makes her nose look a little bit more narrow, which is amazing, right? One product does all of that. It's awesome. Yeah, and see how we gave you like a little bit more definition, a little bit more of a pinch in yeah. there. Wow. Yeah, easy peasy. I can't believe that's just one product. <laughs> I know, right? And it's a $7 product. Oh my goodness. $7. And I'm going to use it again under the eyes in a sec. I'll show you. Amazing. Okay, our next step is to now create a little bit of illumination in the eyelid, okay? And we're going to do that with a cream shadow. I love this. I just discovered it. I love it. It's the Revlon Colorstay Cream Shadow. The color that I'm using is 710 Caramel. It is so beautiful and bronzy. She has such beautiful warm skin that I really wanted to give her that bronzy, J-Lo, gorgeous, monochromatic look that doesn't scream makeup. It just screams like 
effortless beachiness. You know what I'm saying? And this is the perfect product for that. It's really easy to use. All I do is literally put it on my finger and then I press it into the eyelids. Now for liner, I'm sure you're gonna be wondering what color of liner I chose for her because she has warm skin but cool hair. If you guys watch a lot of my tutorials, I talk a lot about kind of matching your color family to your overall coloring, right? Now in this case, she has opposing colors, right? Warm skin, silver hair, silver is cool. So should I go in with a charcoal liner or should I go in with a warm brown liner or should I go in with a black liner? There are no rules with makeup, okay? Everything can work if you're doing it in the right way. In this particular case, I really didn't want there to be any noticeable makeup. I wanted it to be very fresh and soft. So because of that reason, I used a nice warm teddy bear brown liner from e.l.f. Now again, cause she has hooded eyes, I didn't want to make that liner too thick on the lid. If you have smaller eyes, you want to keep that lash line defined, but as narrow as possible. One way to do that is to take a really tiny angled brush, put the liner on the angled brush, and then use that to shade the lash line. You're gonna get much more precision and a much tinier line than if you do go ahead with that bulbous liner tip and you line it that way. Okay, now for brows. She was a victim of over plucking as we all, all were, all of us. So I went in with a powder first. I did this a little bit differently this time. So I went in with this product by a brand called Silvering. This is a really cool brand. It's made specifically to empower women who have natural salt and pepper, gray or white hair. You guys should check them out. I'm gonna leave a link to them. It's a Canadian company, just discovered them. Carrie actually brought the product into the studio and I was pretty excited when she showed me because I was like, oh my gosh, finally something really cool um, that we can use on the brows that's gonna work perfectly. This is something I struggle with a lot actually. I, I can't seem to find a brow product that really works perfectly for my really cool toned hair colored clients. So as you can see when I put it on Carrie's brow you're not getting that warm brown undertone coming through at all. It really is nice and gray. Now because her brows are very thin after I corrected the shape with powder I was noticing that they were looking a little bit on the blocky side and that's because we needed a lot of powder to kind of sketch out that shape which is what always happens when we over pluck and it's normal. So I went in with a different product that you guys haven't seen before and it's by Glossier. It's called the Brow Flick. This is a cool product because it looks like a little pen and it has a very fine, fine little tip and you can actually sketch hairs one by one. If your brows don't need a lot of reshaping, um, I needed to change the shape of hers from rounded to a little bit more angular. If you don't have to change the shape of yours and you're just missing little areas, there's little holes, this is a great product to get because you can just create those little hair strokes in the areas that you're missing very deliberately. All right, now if you're happy with this, you're a super natural girl, you can go ahead and just put some mascara, a little bit of lip gloss and you're good to go. I wanted to brighten carry up a little bit more in the middle of the face. I just noticed that there's a little bit of depth here that we could have color corrected and brightened. So I just went in with a concealer, the exact same e.l.f. concealer, but one that was about two shades lighter than her skin tone, two to three shades lighter than her skin tone. You don't wanna do this right away because if you put a concealer that's too light on a dark circle, it's going to turn the concealer into an ashy looking color and it's not gonna be brightening, it's gonna be off, like sallow. So you wanna go in with peach first. Peach is orange, it corrects blue, okay? And then you can go in with a concealer that's a little bit lighter than your skin, two to three shades. And again, you can color correct whatever needs a little bit more brightening. In her case, it's here in the center of the face and then a little bit out in the sides and you can see just by doing that really takes five minutes it created a spot of light in the center of this the face that was very flattering especially when it's put in direct contrast with the bronzer that we already added to the cheekbone area for her blush I used one of my favorite blushes that I also just discovered and it's tower 28 it's the color beach please so when you are doing a cream blush make sure to put your brush on the cream blush 
put it on the back of your hand to even out the distribution of pigment so you don't get hot spots on the cheek and then just buff it right into the cheek. For lips, we were doing a your lips but better kind of vibe for this one. So I used the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. If you need a great nude lip liner that works for anyone, Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude is the one. It's kind of that perfect nude lip, like your lips but more defined and enhanced. And then I went on top of that with the City Beauty lip gloss. This one is called Nude York. I like this one because again, it's a really nice bronzy color and I knew it would be perfect for this whole bronze aesthetic that we were creating. Feels really nice. It's an amazing gloss. It's super, super hydrating. And the coolest thing about it is that you put it on, you know how normally glosses, they're gone in mm -hmm. 30 minutes? This lasts like hours. Nice. Because it's viscous. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't bleed into lip lines and it, it's very long wear for a gloss. It's probably the longest wearing gloss I've ever tried. Then I went back into that bronzer. I used a really densely packed little smudging brush and I smudged under the lash line just to kind of create that definition under the lash line as well. Okay, and this is where I went in with lots and lots and lots of mascara. You guys can see that it gave her so much more density, even though she has more sparse lashes, they're not super thick. It really kind of densified them and built them up in a way that looked so defined and beautiful. Here's a little extra step that's totally optional. It's up to you if you wanna do it. When I am working with someone with hooded eyes as well, I like adding black to the top waterline because I wanna keep that lash line so skinny on top, right? I wanna bring definition but not close up the eyes. I just lift the hooded area up and I go into the waterline and I add black there and that's going to make the lashes look significantly more dense. It's also gonna draw a lot of definition and a lot of um, attention to the eyes without closing the eyes up at all. And finally, as our very last step, I went in with the Lottie London setting spray. Now, there's two different setting sprays by Lottie London. If you guys haven't heard of this brand, you should definitely check them out. I just buy them at Walmart. They have some really amazing products for really good prices. So these are the setting sprays. There's the dewy setting spray. There's also a stay matte setting spray. So depending on your type of skin or your desired end result, you can spray with the dewy spray, which is gonna create that luminescence, that light to the face, make the skin look really supple. But if you struggle with oil issues or with your makeup staying or lasting or just getting very oily throughout the day, I definitely have that issue issue, then you can go in with the Stay Matte setting spray. So choose the one that works best for you. For Carrie today, because she doesn't have oily skin, she's got very normal skin, and I really wanted that very healthy glow to her skin, I used the Dewy setting spray. And you guys can see after I sprayed it how beautiful it made her skin look. It really gave her that boost of gorgeousness, you know? Okay. Wow. Do I really wish I had somewhere to go. <laughs> Okay, now you can definitely stop here. This is what Carrie looks like now. This is her before and this is her after. If you want to elevate this, so say you are the type of person that loves a very natural makeup application. Natural makeup is totally your thing, but you're going to a party. You can totally elevate this by adding a set of strip lashes, okay? Now the strip lash that I used on Carrie is the Ardell L curl. Now this is made specifically for a monolid or a hooded eye. You can see when she doesn't have it on, her makeup looks beautiful and so natural and glowy and perfect for day to day. And you know, without me babbling on and explaining everything, I'm telling you this is not gonna take you more than 10 minutes at the absolute most. But if you spend an extra five minutes or 10 minutes even, and you add a lash, you go from day to night. Like the difference in the two eyes. <laughs> I know, it makes a huge difference, it does. And not just for you, like for everyone. Even mm, when you have really yeah. long lashes, it's, it's a density thing, it's not necessarily the length. If you guys want me to make a lash video showing you exactly how to put it on, which lashes are best for which eye type, and even different techniques of using half lashes for certain things, or a full lash, in this case I used a full lash for her, then definitely let me know that in the comment section because I always make the videos that you guys are repeatedly requesting, the ones that are gonna be the most helpful for you. So if you need that and you want that, let me know. I will definitely make it for you as soon as I can, if, if enough of you comment that. This is our finished 
10 minute supernatural beginner friendly look. This is what Carrie looks like with no makeup on. This is how she looks after a really natural and radiant daytime application. And this is how she looks when we elevated it by adding some lashes. If you're interested in knowing how I did her hair, what products I use and what I recommend for silver or graying hair, let me know that as well in the comments below. This video is over.